A long awaited feature in downtown Panama City is now causing a little bit of a stir. The Four Points Plaza on Harrison Avenue, where the clock is, <clears throat> pardon me, looks great, but it's causing issues for some drivers. As News 13's Courtney Evans tells us, a semi truck got stuck trying to drive through that area in spite of some warning signs that are in that area. It's actually not a true circle. Many consider this area a roundabout. It's actually called the Four Points Plaza. There are a couple of stop signs in addition to some of the yield signs, and that was intentionally done uh, and designed that way to promote pedestrian safety, vehicle traffic, and really the interaction uh, of both of those. Late last year, construction was complete and the intersection opened. One issue since then is large vehicles driving through even though they are not supposed to. While we have the appropriate signage, we're going to increase that signage to try to give advanced alerts. Uh, and we're also working very closely and coordinating with the business owners that receive those larger 18-wheeler uh, type deliveries uh, to just discuss additional um, delivery options that exist because there are lots of other options as well. Another problem is some of the bollards have been damaged. I'd rather see a bollard get bumped than a pedestrian or, or someone on a bike. And so they're, they're serving that purpose, but we have the ability to repair them. The nearby Press Coffee Shop likes the additional space the plaza offers their business. What we have is patrons to our businesses who are trying to get here. And I, I, I truly believe as a business owner, if you have a parking problem, that you're doing something right. Phase two of the project is expected to start this spring. City officials say an additional foot will be added to each side of the road between 4th and 6th Street. The city absolutely wants to be good partners with the citizens and the businesses and make that happen, provided that designing and the engineering works, because we want to make sense. We want to make things as objective as possible as we move forward with these very big projects that are going to last for generations. You see the area that's been done and the area that's yet to remain. This way you see a lively, active town center with people walking and walking their dogs and sitting on benches and sitting in spaces like this. Down that side you see um, a parking lot. Um, and that's good for cars, but not good for patrons. In Panama City, Courtney Evans, News 13, Panhandle Strong. City officials say they are working with city and state adopted street guidelines. They also say phase two will have taller bollards or what they call the post. They call it a bollard to decrease the amount of damage.